Hey folks, welcome back to Stranded Alien Dawn. I was doing a few things in between episodes and this thunderstorm popped up and boom, lightning struck right over here next to Edmund's bed, which is just, yeah, it's within, I guess hit right about there. Ah, anyway, turn this on and I'm not connected to power. Yes, yeah, so we need to uh, research batteries and get that connected to a to a system where we can store electric strikes, I'm assuming. Um, Rita is coming in. Last At the end of the last episode, we had her clear out the blade grass over there, and she got most of it done, but lightning started raining around her, so I brought her in, and it's four in the morning, and she's going to need some sleep, and wow, listen to that wind. I'm going to give her some more sleep time. Rita, let's take you... I will give you, like, all the way into there. Wow. That wind is something else. So we'll alter Rita for a little bit. She needs her sleep because we need her to get the rest of the harvesting in, which actually is... Looks like we're losing it as fast as... Hmm. And she's also our farmer in the sense of animal taming. Right there. So, farming? Let me think about that. Um, I got that right or am I confused? Ranching is farming, yes. So, Rita is the one that needs to head over here and say hello to our pooch. Observe. So, she's got uh, stuff to get working on today. Um, everybody's sleeping in. Oh, I see Simon's up now. I'm up trying to watch lightning strikes. We have two of them over here? I think we do. Yeah, one, two, and one, two. So, never seen lightning hit one of these yet. That was up on the hillside, I think. And maybe that they won't until we do get it connected up to the electric grid. It's possible. Anyway, um, comfy bed. Oh, well, that's nice. Soaking wet. Negatives. <laughs> uh, Paulette is still set for... We'll let her finish this crafting. She's still set for cooking, and I want to make sure she does that. Edmund is drinking. I assume it's coffee. Yeah. Veggie leather. Okay. So Paulette is going to go drink some coffee as well. And hopefully she gets to working on... Uh, uh, cooking without me having to tell her. Rita's going to sleep for a while. Carter's taking a walk. I need him to tear down these walls. I need Edmund or somebody to get the bricks going, which means I need all that uh, straw or hay hauled in. Simon, I think, would be the best one to do that. He is playing the didgeridoo, so we'll let, uh, we'll let all of their bars get brought up as much as possible. Um, actually, we'll let him hit 80 and I'll, I'll hijack him. Because he's our fast... Whoa! I saw that out of the corner of my eye. Okay, remember, we're working on Simon. What did we hit over here? We hit one of these guys? No, we just hit the ground nearby. Oh, 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 we did. And you... have a shelf life now. Butcher. Wow. Okay, you, uh, yeah, that lightning whacked you good. Okay, we'll butcher you, and but I need Simon out here. So, Simon, why don't you come out and do this now, haul hay. And boom, the rain stopped. Though we saw that one episode long ago, but ten seconds later, kablam! Let's see if there's a chance one more lightning... Oh! Bolt. Well, did you hear that? Kind of a sound. Wow. <laughs> Took out our scarab statue. <laughs> I don't think we need to rebuild that. No, I think that's toast. Wow. Okay. Note to self. After every lightning storm, something's going to die. <laughs> Boy, that was something else. Are we through yet? We're still rolling and rumbling. Okay, so Simon's going to transport that. Um, 
Paulette, you are still working on crafting. Come on out here and butcher. Um, here. Paulette, yeah. So, not assigned activity. Uh, butcher, okay. You come and do that. And let's figure out... Well, Carter is transporting. So Carter jumped into cooking? Did I do something wrong again? Handle, handle, and one more. Well, put that away. Carter getting and eating. Maybe he was trying to put firewood in there and it made him unload it before he could do it. No, that's not it either. I don't know, but once he gets done, I will just give him a hard reset. You know, a, a control F5 and and uh, get him to to uh, do something else. I'm going to pause here for a second because things are happening and we've got more things to talk about. Um, did I talk about this yet? I did once. This is the second time I've recorded this, so I'm doing some serious deja vu. We had this lightning storm going on and there was thunder all around in this room. And then all of a sudden there was some real thunder sound out there somewhere. And apparently some car had driven by the building and revved up really hard and then backfired a whole bunch of backfires down the road. And I thought the building had been hit like we'd been driven into. The place just rumbled, built, you know, the walls shook a little bit, vibrated. So I shut down and, and it didn't pause. So I ended up having to redo the whole recording. So I don't know if I told you about this or not. So you're going to get it twice if I haven't. Anyway, now that we know that things rot over here, we lost all that hay, even though it says 100 of 100. And yet, all the hay went away. This one, this one, same thing. And yet it's gone. So I decided to put... Uh, couple more shacks up over here and get all of our storage under uh, under a roof this area was what we used last time but I think it's yeah we need to leave it the way it is so we've got this going over here we still need to get this guy built um, I have switched the glitter caps out of the pickling orders and are we making furnace we're making alloy there and we need to go get some some hay which is what Simon's doing okay up here I went ahead and added in some more of the bedrooms it gives us five bedrooms now and we could move a wall over get a hallway here and pop out the back end and put another two bedrooms later if we have to we could kind of reconfigure that but the walls brick has good thermal insulation instead of medium thermal insulation if I'm going to build some kind of a refrigerated room it makes sense that it is brick but just sticking you know four brick walls into a log cabin looking place would be kind of weird so I got to thinking how about we make an addition off the back end and, and we'll brick these walls here and that will give the sense of, uh, of a, you know, an add-on that's of a different building material, but not look so weird. So that was my plan for that. So that gives us a, I forget what it was, and it's really hard to tell now, but uh, one, two, three, four, five, six by five. And that allows shelf, walkway, shelf, shelf, walkway, shelf. So it gives us you know rows and aisles as well as a few right over here and a door so apparently our kitchen is going to be over here now so common area um we need some good comfortable seating uh furniture these guys and i believe you can assign them so each person gets their chair and they've got a comfortable place to to sit down and, and get some relaxation in or around the fireplace or something it's going to be fun when we get this built. I've got these on pause right now so we can at least get this structure done and I can get beds, maybe two beds in each room just to get them into this building. Then we'll continue building onto the rest. Eventually we'll take this wall and door out and make the, extend the hallway. But that's the plan for now. But Carter does need to get into this first. In fact, where is Carter nowadays? 
Uh, Edmund is deconstructing fences. Okay, that's good. There's something he can do. Good. Carter, you for some reason are cooking. Turn this back on. Let's get you finished and figure out what happened there. We don't need you cooking. But Carter is eating. He is... What was that that popped in? Insufficient storage space. Oh. Simon is trying to bring this stuff in, but I have... I have shut down all of these. <laughs> um, okay, let's cancel those orders for now. So I guess it's that one, that one, and that one to see if it's possible for Simon to bring these in. That's not something. So where are the rest of them? It's got to be more than 30 out here. No? No? What am I missing here? Are we further back? Oh, he... Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Simon. Sit, sit right there. Don't move. <laughs> Carter. <laughs> Can you get over here and build this, like, um, now? What are you doing right now? You are... You are going to go out and build something over here. Okay. Come on over and get these built right now. And once we get the first one done, I can go get Simon working again. Ah, yep, yep. Okay, with that, Simon, you can put your crossbow away. Come on back over here. Reserve for Edmund. Hall hay. Oh, so Edmund was coming out to do the hauling anyway. <laughs> Yeah, overthinking it a bit. All right, he only wanted three. Ah, uh, of course. Okay, you grab all those, hopefully those and those. And hopefully your path will cross the 30 we dropped off over there. Is that it? Appears to be. Um, I'd love to have you do that one too, but uh, yeah, we'll... Oh, Rita's harvesting, great. She did that on her own. Paulette, is there any chance you're cooking? Oh, you're transporting. Yeah, I got in the way there. That's fine. Okay, so Simon, I want you, when you get to this area, to haul this, and hopefully the 87 as well. So right in there. Grab everything. Yeah. Okay, that job is done. And is this built? This is not. So you got your five done, and then you're going to get back over and get to work on this. That's good. So you're repairing the floors, at the very least. We've got to get the bricks going. So Edmund is on handling duty, and he's getting the first bricks fired up. And once we get some bricks, then I should be able to start laying out walls. But until then, the game won't even acknowledge that a brick wall exists yet. Oh, there you are. You flew in. Oh, because we have a bug or two left. Yeah. Well, we'll do without that, but I'll still mark you to observe, just in case you're the one that Simon just happens to be standing next to when he gets triggered to go do something, do the nearest thing. Hey, Rita is harvesting. How are you doing? Are you in great shape? You're not bad. Okay. I really need you to get some planting done. You're harvesting those. Let's get you to plant some blade grass first so that we can get some growing so we can get more bricks made. That's going to be, yeah, we need to probably make another expedition, at least two of us over here, and harvest all of this and bring it all in. But we've got this little guy to deal with too, and he's probably getting hungry. Okay, so Rita, when you're done with that... Well, I'm hesitant to say observe dog because she might do it when we're not looking. Connected the recent skin bark harvest. Oh, commented with Edmund. Okay. I assume those are good things whenever we see that. Was pleased by Simon. How are we doing nowadays? Simon? Um, Edmund. Yeah, the other Simon. Doesn't care for Simon or Carter. Edmund. Or Simon doesn't care for Rita, Edmund, or Carter. Um, Rita, does anybody like anybody? Carter likes Edmund. 
and that is it. <sighs> Maybe when the days aren't so stressful and they start having a little more fun, they'll start liking each other. Carter is transporting those. Uh, you are building something because we have got everything done here that we can get done because we don't yet have a brick wall okay so that sits and Carter's gonna get back to work so he's bringing ore up to work on the the vents going into the rooms which I've heard at least early in the early access didn't do a very good job of transferring heat from room to room but I'm hoping with the several of up updates that we've had in the last couple of months they've addressed many or much of that you are back in our area yeah I'll just ignore you for now so what's happening here ah observing dog did get to see it and unpowered device soldering bench ah we're up and running there's no power but does it tell us what it's capable of doing electronic solder circuit boards and this requires 10 silicone and, and and 10 metal alloy wow that's expensive wow hmm we're gonna have to find a I know we're gonna have meteorites hit us one day and those probably contain ore but we're gonna need a lot of meteorites <laughs> <laughs> There's not a lot of ore on this map. Yeah, and I bet you a lot of things take electronics or circuit boards. Okay, let's watch Rita for a while. It is already 3 in the afternoon. Now, observe for something like this probably happens from a long distance, I'm going to say. Otherwise, she might spook them. Let's see how this works. Does she walk right up to them? Or does she... Oh, she... No, she's just playing hard to get... Now she's got she's a, a level seven on farmer. So trainer. So hopefully that means this bar does go up fairly quick. Because she's kind of stressed out as far as relaxation, so her happiness is tanking on us. So we'll see how quickly this goes. Let's try to remember to get back to her in a couple of minutes. Um, Edmund is constructing a wall torch by heading all the way in here to find a log on the ground. Okay. But at least these are things that Edmund can do. Can Edmund do this? He can. So, Carter, why don't you go do all the things that you can't, that he can't do? You need to go build some walls. Do that. And do that. And actually do that one yeah so do those instead and let Edmund take care of this stuff let's get his uh, construction skill skilled up and Paulette is cooking oh good good um, I had moved coffee to the top and what do we have on our coffee order until we have five okay so she won't spend too much time making coffee but this gets there's six porridges in place she's gonna work on pie I've for some reason, she is not making veggie soup. She went straight down to pies. That's twice now. Because pies is next in on this list. Okay. Then we go to veggie soup. So better to use the veggies for the pies because we get a happiness bonus out of it too. Big one. Okay. I like that. Um... Edmund is handling a torch. Why don't you build a stick shelter? Great. And then let's go ahead and empty and deconstruct these one more time since we have backup storage now. Discovered. What did that say? I lost the word. Okay, well, it's a famous dog breed. Oh, okay. And it baffles me how its kind has gotten here. Did some specimens survive a crash? Dogs are frequent companions during space vacations, and I've even heard of contraband ships training dogs on wor worlds where their breeding is illegal. Who knows what happened? But we had to get it into the game somehow. One thing is sure, though, the dogs have adapted to this planet well. 
They are somewhat wild and aggressive when provoked, but it shouldn't be too hard to reclaim the trust of man's best friend and tame them. So, uh, tame, a taming of dogs if researched, and a dog statue. Okay, so pause that, get back out here to Rita. And now what happened? So we have observed. We have not befriended. Okay. <clears throat> so required skill is zero. Everybody can tame a dog, or at least can make friends with. Retaliation chance of fail is 5%. I bet you these numbers change drastically when you get into other kinds of animals. Can be trained, yes. Uh, usually passive, small chance to retaliate when attacked. Um... Okay, well, you can read everything else there. But dog at this point is wild, so we are calling it um, Weimaraner. My, yeah, you can correct me on that one. <laughs> dog. <laughs> oh, let's see. So what else is happening? Edmund's making our shelter. Great. And Edmund, when you're done once you also build these stockpiles give you even more experience now it's kind of thinking where is everybody we know where Rita is where's oh Carter's up there working on the walls okay good so Paulette has given up on cooking she's working on more clothes for pants um how many pants are on the shelf so far I see shoes, I see hats, or uh, a beanie. That is it. Our pants are looking like what nowadays? Now we're only down by 25%. There's it down by a third. And... Hmm. We will be needing them soon, but... Do we want to push our cooking a little bit harder? We have six meals for the morning. And apparently folks are already eating all the buttermelon pies. Uh, grain porridge, what kind of percentage are we looking at right now? 92%, so it's going to last a while. We got a day out of it. Okay, we'll, let, we'll do this. Paulette is getting one day's worth of me eating at a time or meals at a time and still getting a little crafting in. While Rita is concentrating on handling a, a wall torch. No, 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 no. What time is it? 1900? How is your rest right now? What did we do to your schedule by doing all that to you? You're still decent. Okay, let's put you back to what you were before. Like so. And... Let's go... Well, no, let's let's continue the planting. I think that, that would be wisest. So, why don't you go ahead and do that as well. And we can't plant this one until we've taken that tree down, I'm assuming. So you want to handle, don't really have to. Edmund, why don't you take this tree down? And that way Rita can plant in there as well. Plant smoke leaf. Actually, no, I want you to do this, but we'll get these in and see what time it is. We need, we need the corn, we need the grain in. In fact, we need a lot more. Oh, that's right, we did that over here. So there's a lot more, yeah. We don't so much need the smoke leaf. We've got some to take out. What was that noise? It's going to keep reminding me about things. Yeah. Um, Carter is handling. Okay, fine. <laughs> Edmund is transporting. Yeah, you guys do you. Do we have bricks yet? Bricks are just about done. Once that's done, I can lay some walls out. And then I think we need to rethink my plan of making a dedicated brick furnace and ore furnace for the temporary. We need to get as many bricks going as we can. So let's add bake and forever. It didn't work. Bake. Oh, click. There we go. Forever. And move you up for now. So that we can get two of these going enough to get these this amount of bricks done at least then we'll shift it back okay so I am paused don't need to but it'd be nice if somebody would start one more batch for you guys go to bed Simon is researching 
wooden fortifications are just about finished. And we can see what that is. Uh, 98%. Edmund doing a wall torch. Oh, you're building. Okay. And you're going to go eat. But before you eat, you're going to get this going. Bake bricks. There it is. Wooden fortifications. The old Romans had it figured out. Sharpen wood logs and dig them into the soil. Such wooden fortifications will provide sturdier defenses than fences or walls, and wooden towers provide elevated shooting platforms for drafted survivors. You just need to figure out how Romans did make those. Okay, so we have tower, gate. So what is the wooden gate versus... Oh, the gates. The big wide gates versus the, the people. The gate versus the door. That's what we're trying to say. Okay. And the wooden tower. Is that something that expands? No. Okay, so you just hop up into it. You're protected. And you can shoot over it, I'm assuming. Okay. So you cancel. So we've seen that. Leisure. Oh, we've got... Um, we've got leather now. Okay. Yeah. I think we're doing okay for relaxation at the moment. Let's hold off on that and save our leather for, for clothes. And then maybe even a leisure chair or two. Um, yeah, Rita. Well, go ahead and do a couple more to finish that row. Then I want to shift you over and get maybe some more of the, uh, of the grain cob in. Now these are what? Individually, are we regrowing? These all kind of failed. Is there a chance that they're going to get a new crop on them? Don't know. Well, we'll find out. Or do we need to cut them out and start over? Hmm. Okay, Rita is stressed out, but she will eventually quit. And, and uh, oh good, we got that going. Now you go get your dinner. And you are scrap mill and needs to get put away. And you're eating planting, constructing a wall. Ed, or Simon is researching something new now. Going for long distance travel. So research we need to get... Oh, I guess animal handling is a quick one. Let's pop that in before these two. Generator, refrigerator. Uh, anything else pop in recently? Armor might be nice. Um, tea would be pretty... In yeah, uh-huh. <laughs> Heat pump. We gotta get that one going, but we need CPU cores, which is a step beyond the uh, uh, circuit boards. Yeah. What was that comment about a storm? Now, we can't get those back, can we? Uh, Edmund. We can see that two people interacted, maybe, but we can't see what the comment was. Was annoyed by Simon. So Edmund and Simon are commenting about something, but yeah, what they, I'll have to rewatch the uh, the episode to find out what he just said. Carter's going to sleep. Rita is planting, and I think it would be wise if I let her, Rita, yeah, let her go to sleep. She's going to be crashing hard here. You go do what you think you need best. Go grab something to eat, and then go to bed. Um, is there a pie left? Is that a curiosity? Uh, right there, there are no pies. Okay. So you grab whatever you can grab, which looks like veggie soup. Did she get in there and make some? She made some. Okay. So everything is okay with the world. Yep. Um, boom. Something got built. Oh, is that up there? Edmund built something. Oh, he's building doors, isn't he? No. I don't know what else is here that he could have built. Oh, Carter built the wall and Edmund went and built the door. Okay. I see that. All right. Sleeping, 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 sleeping. Okay. Brick fences. That's what I was thinking about pausing before. Then I thought, nah, let's just do this at night. So, housing, wall, brick. 
Now it will let us. Oh, that's a wall. Okay, pause. Defenses? We need defenses. So fortifications, wooden. That's not it. So let's go to fence. Brick. That's what we're looking for. You. There. We still have a scarab. So, oh good, it'll let me build. That's not what I want. There, there, there. There. Nope, missed that one too. Okay, you go away. And you and you go away. Alright, you copy there, there. And you copy there. Uh, wrong direction. Copy to there. Alright, so that rebuilds the part that was damaged in something that's much stronger. We need 58 bricks. We're making five at a time. Ouch. Okay. What does it take to make a furnace? <laughs> I can see we're going to need a few of these going. Um, uh, where am I? This, is that production? Yeah, furnace is 20 stone. We can make one more. In that case, we'll go ahead and aim it this direction. Like that. And can I already copy over its orders? I cannot. Okay. So, whoever gets up first, keep making bricks. Need to get it done before our next attack, whatever that means. And these things are dying out. Interesting. Dead. Hmm. So, I guess if we're going to harvest anything more out of that, we better get that done. And maybe one more round out of here. Harvest you. So that will give Rita some more harvest orders tomorrow. And then... Hopefully get everything planted, then maybe we can get her back into uh, what we need. Um, hey, is 84 going to be enough? 84, we're using three at a time. Am I running? I'm not. Three at a time, so, oh, that's 27 or something like that times five. So that's enough to get a brick here. Let's explore. Because we finished the research? No. Research long distance travel will allow you to build a hot air balloon and send survivors to explore faraway points of interest. Each expedition will require liquid fuel and some food for the survivor, which probably gets into like the dried meats or those hay sausages. You could just. Oh. The didgeridoo just fired up behind me here. You could discover resources, help a fellow crash lander, or get tangled in some weird adventure. Cool. All right, so Edmund was suddenly uh, making weird noises. <laughs> Paula is cooking. Simon is sleeping. Rita and Carter are both sleeping. And so far, this uh, this little temporary camp has done a pretty good job. I'm impressed with it. It works. Though, what else should we be doing in here? Kind of forgot about this. We could have put storage right there, huh? Yeah, we could have. Hmm. No, well, keep that in mind. Um, all right, so it is time for everyone to take a break and research. Transporting. Okay. Um... Edmund, are you capable of building this? You can. So let's let you drop that off. Um, let's just get you to drop that there. And see if you want to do some writing. Thank you. It's time for some relaxation. And let's take advantage of it. You'll spend your entire time just walking. Yeah. But after you've done that, Edmund, you... Well, you need a meal, but you can get this built. I want you assigned to it rather than Carter. Carter can get to work on... Carter. Discuss future research with Paulette. Okay, Carter, when you're done... Oh, you are... 
I see eating there. I can't find your name. Ah, there you are. You're grabbing something to eat. And then I want you to handle baked bricks and baked bricks. Okay. Let's get those going. Edmund is constructing the furnace that he needs to get a meal. Whoa. And shared a childhood memory with Carter. Rita did. Okay, we're all starting to like each other again. That's good. Put you away, put you away. Uh, unpowered. It's going to be unpowered for a while. we got to build, but we don't have the generator researched yet. Simon, by the way, is doing almost that. He's doing uh, long-distance travel, and that's going to actually get finished here pretty soon. Rita's harvesting. Good. And I take it she's already done that. Yeah, okay. That's why it's not highlighted anymore. Okay, so that is done. I want to... Can I copy orders? Not orders. No. Okay. So you are, for now, going to be baking bricks forever. Okay. And Carter... Edmund are eating, and then you're going to bake bricks. And then you're going to bake bricks, and then you're going to bake bricks. Oh, no. Carter, I meant for you to deconstruct stockpile. Okay, then I want you to go build a brick wall. But yeah, one tap and that'll be gone. Then you can construct a fence. All right. Okay. Boy, it's like herding cats sometimes, I tell you. <laughs> How do we do up here? Ah, oh, we're getting there. Boy, I want to tell them to build a roof soon, but we need to cut some trees so we can get these walls built so we can put the roofs on them. Yeah. Okay, who can cut trees? That's kind of an Edmund thing. Hmm. How long will it take for these to grow? Something else that's just hanging out there is to go and get this. And... But I want Rita to do so many things. So she's got to plant all this stuff. And yeah, we need to take this down so that uh, Paula can be using the skin bark. And yeah, there's there's stuff to do. Did we load up a... Ooh, that was quick. So these are three each. Okay. So you had ten. So three, 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 and one. Okay. So, hit points of 50, hit points of 100. Okay, that feels so much better. It really does. Uh, Paulette is getting meat. Why is there meat over here? I'm a little confused about that. So, you orders. There's no meat. Was it just laying on the ground? Like that? That is a healing bomb, shelf life, 100. Huh, don't know. Edmund is transporting, meaning he's emptying a furnace. Okay. Um, are you just going over here or are you gonna walk all the way up to the cabin? If you are, I'm gonna stop you. Thank you, that's much better. Okay, handle the furnace. So, okay, back to the sentence I don't think I finished. Do we wait for this to grow and call that good enough? Or do we just send Rita, who's too busy, to go up there and harvest this before it goes away? Meaning these do rot. Long distance travel, wow, we researched it. Okay. So, we are here. Science. Hot air balloon. Takes 10 metal alloy and fabric and leather. And we can put it wherever we want. We could move it for later. Or we could put it where it belongs right now. Where does it belong? Hmm. Near the old cra crash site is kind of an interesting idea. Kind of like that. Except that 
when you give them the order to do it, they're going to go and get food, then they're going to walk over to it. It's almost like it needs to leave from right here. And we're going to take these trees down anyway. Yeah, that's kind of an interesting idea. Let's do that. Well, that's the pathway coming up. Okay, a little bit further over, like, uneven terrain. We have to get to this point here. All of these are going away, but I don't know what, what goes there. Hmm. Okay, I think we will go ahead and just move it later. But let's go ahead and drop it in near the old crash site, just to, just because it looked good. Now, we still need to make alloy, and that's going to be a little while, because our alloy makers are busy. But um, Edmund is just going to grab all the materials to good, and that'll help us unload this anyway. Okay. So he's going to bring the materials over, but we don't have enough alloy to finish the job. Um, what else is happening? Carter is reading a f falling rescue pod. Oh, what? An object resembling a rescue pod fell in the distance. What if they're survivors? Unlock crash rescue pod expedition. Oh, man. We suddenly need to get into this balloon, don't we? Oh, game, that wasn't nice. I don't dare send anybody until our next attack hits. But, boy, we could almost be there and back, huh? Maybe. Okay. All right. Let's get the hot air balloon built. Let's do it. Um, I need alloy. I need alloy. Okay, roof. We'll do it this way. Pause. You. Double click. Why did he give me all the doors too? That's strange. Nine construction sites. Oh, that's what you gave me. So if I were to do this, can I get vents? Three wall constructions. I think that means walls. Okay. Floors, there's no vents. It's just construction sites. Okay, one at a time. Cancel. 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 Alright, so there's our balloon, right? Right. Okay, let's get to work on that. Edmund, that's your baby. Make it happen. Carter is, let's see, bricks are no, no, and no. So Carter is playing darts. <laughs> Carter probably needs it. Yeah. It's not relaxation time, so he triggered on his own. Rita, where are you and what you doing? You went off somewhere. Oh, that's gone. So Rita's transporting skin bark. Okay. And Rita, if you... You need to relax. Okay. Let's get you relaxed. And then let's get you planting. Rita, I lost your name. There you are. So when you're done with that, let's get this planted. Or it says we can harvest it. Oh, so we are regrowing. Oh. So they were not disappearing. They just were losing their harvest. Oh. Okay. Simon is now researching animal training and almost done. So... Edmund, how far are we with the balloon? We have brought most everything. Fabric and leather. We have plenty of cotton. Okay. Can we say which one to make it out of? We apparently cannot. Copy, construct. Yeah. Okay. So next episode, we just might be launching that balloon. The attack was at the end of last one, so it's been two days. We should get at least four days in between attacks. So, animal taming. With the proper treat, most animals can be tamed. Tame animals would require food, medicine, maybe even a place to sleep. Some can have babies. Others would be ideal for camp protection, and we will be happy to have them all. So, do we have an animal sleep spot now? Look at that. So, animal sleep spot. Um, is it? Oh, it's big. It's it's an Edmund thing. Yeah, it's right there. And ranching 
an animal feeder of some kind. Um, out of scrap metal takes alloys. Okay, out of wood. All right, so if you went like that or like that. What, what are the other choices? Ranching. That's the feeder. So there's no water. It's just food. Oh, that's a large animal spot. I may have clicked the wrong one. You are animal spot. So I don't know what you are. Cancel and grab you. Oh, that was you. So what's the large one look like? Okay, you're a three by three. You don't even fit in a shack. Okay, so go back to the small animal spot and go back to the feeder and wood and put you in like that. All right, that is the animal shed. So we'll be ready when Rita does go up and tame. But right now, she's busy doing this. Carter is transporting the other five just to bring it back over here. Though we're going to eventually put it all back over here. Hmm. We'll hang on to it. Maybe there'll be another need for it down here. Because we want just to brick these things out. So bricks are still... Well, we get five more today, but yeah. Bricks are going to be a problem. We can't make them fast enough, can we? Um, again, production. Stone is the limiter. Carter is getting something to eat. And then, Carter, why don't you spend a couple of hours busting stone? And let's put in another, another furnace. We need brick fast two more days I want to have the rest of this built so yeah we need to need to get that going okay so Rita is planting Edmund is still constructing he's bringing I don't know what he's bringing it's coming from over there there's no cotton over there unless we never picked it up off the ground over here there's some cotton okay so that's what he grabbed so Paulette what are you doing Paulette is crafting, transporting, you're crafting. Paulette, I'm going to steal you for a moment and come on over and haul these cloth and put them away. Just to have that job done. Rita's busy. Simon is researching. Yeah, he could have done it too. Uh, Carter's mining. And we're building. We are building. That's going to take a while. That is. That's probably going to get finished the next day, isn't it? Yeah. Which means next episode. How long have I been recording? Yep. It's about that time. Hmm. All right. So, if anything else happened or didn't happen, I just just noticing that area right there. I think it's rock that comes down, but it sure looks like there's a roof over there. You know, a fire and a roof and some lighting and ha, meteor. Um, is there anything else that I did at the beginning of the episode and didn't mention to you? Don't think so. Diesel generators. Okay. And Carter reached physical five. So we need to be thinking about who is going to go on these journeys. I need somebody with some strength <clears throat> to bring back materials that they find. The more strength they have, the more they bring back need something with somebody with intelligence that can interact with whatever um, challenge is out there need someone with uh, good combat so they can defend themselves against challenges that they find out there Rita has the combat she had a perk that she would field observe a chance unknown species during expeditions so if there are animals or plants out there that we don't have on this map she could find them and then we can plant them okay so there's value in that um, only one in physical though whereas someone like Edmund four in physical almost as good in combat readers are best and intellect is up there as well. Rita's three and one. So she lacks here. 
where she has here and in farming and observing. Okay. Carter, you've got the physical. you got some intellect. You're at a three. And so you are a possibility as well. Paulette is a no, I would say, all the way around. And Simon is yeah, weak in both of these. So really it really comes down to Edmund and Rita, I think. So take a look at those numbers and give me your thoughts. Going after a... doesn't have it here. Um, that is found here, I believe. Crashed rescue pod. So we looks like we have a timer. Two days. We've got to get this one done. This one probably doesn't have any danger in regard, especially being a you know one of the very first uh, ones given to us. It's probably an easy one, just on purpose, and we can go explore something over there. So probably don't need to fight off bad guys, you know, monsters, and there probably there may not be a lot of supplies to bring back. It's mostly just getting another person is my guess. Hmm. And that person's bed is already in place. So we're already capable of that. So... I was going to say, so Rita's probably the one. But Rita's needed so badly here. Where is she right now? She went to sleep. I think Edmund's who we got to send out this first time. I think so. But let me know what your thoughts are. And we'll see if we're going to undo that. We're at 2,200 hours. Edmund might be able to finish this. Or I might have him finish it uh, next episode. Rita sleeping. Paula is crafting. Carter is transporting stone. 100 stone. Oh, great. So let's pop in. Copy. Let's pop in two more. Or at least one more. Um, right there. I can do that? I would think I'd be blocking the still. I don't know. Okay, the still does come in from that side. Okay. What was that hissing noise? I don't know. Let's put you both in there. And we'll build that tomorrow. Um, Edmund, are you going to make it? I think I'll let you just continue building. I think you'll you'll finish this off. So Carter's handling a wall torch, and oh, that's somebody getting into bed, right? What is that noise? No, it wasn't. That's about the noise that they make. They're, they're quite noisy when they get in. All the creaking noises when they sit on the chairs. Yeah, there's little eating, slurping, more creaks. And Paulette is going to sleep. Yeah, we'll just listen to the noises for a while. Full of hot air. I just got an achievement popped into my corner. Edmund finished. We have a balloon. Transport explorers to distant locations. It takes 30 fuel. Where is our fuel? I've not really looked for that before. Crafting materials. We have 40 fuel right now. It takes 30 of it. Okay. Um, after research, it is mixed with oils and fats on a workbench and fermented. Or fermented from raw insect meat. Okay. Um, so we can choose the expedition. Seven expeditions. Why does it say seven? There's one, two. I'm not sure, but if we choose that, um, we don't have fuel, so it won't let us do anything. Okay, so to the next episode, we'll figure that out and get it going, and I think we'll send Edmund off, but if you guys think Rita is the better one, then let me know. Otherwise, let me pop into here one more time so you can see that and that. Or, yeah, we'll put Carter in there for you to look at too. But I don't think Edmund can build a brick wall. Can he? He cannot. So we need Carter here. We've got to get that built. Anyway, I think it's probably time to call this one done. Lots to think about and 
next time we'll get into the hot air balloon and hopefully get the brick wall done and maybe get enough trees cut to get the last of our walls done so we can get roof on it and another episode or two we'll be moving in so it's happening we're nearing the end of summer 51 degrees out talk to you later guys bye bye <laughs>